Hello and welcome back to part two of our Woodford's um, Norfolk Wherry video. Part one is already on the channel. This is just the uh, follow up after, obviously, it's all ready now. It's the 23rd. This was announced sort of 31st now, so stop bubbling. So we've um, done. So basically, we're now decanting the uh, wherry from the tub. Uh, I've raised it up to give it a bit of height on another tub upside down. I've already done 24 bottles. Uh, we bought these. We bought these bottles from um, Amazon. They uh, are Cooper's DIY beer bottles, and we have done a little video on them yeah, as well. They come with the lid. Lid the PPA are quite all right. I've sterilised them all. Uh, the instructions are: if you're putting them in the bottle as we are, so I've kept the box. Um, press your barrel to do it. Fill half a teaspoon per pint. If it's going in a bottle, so we're putting in the bottle. So each bottle has a half a teaspoon in, and all I did was use a little uh, measuring spoon which had a quarter of a teaspoon in. <coughs> Excuse me, I just tipped it in each bottle, and that was done. For any of you who have watched our wine video with our decanting with uh, some garden hose, because we can't get anything because we're 2020 in March and it's a difficult time with coronavirus and that, um, we've been working on something a little bit better. Um, so it decants into a bottle real easy. So I've done these and, and this is our little system we've got going. There's no pump required or anything. Yeah, that might need pulling through again. But anyway, that's it, it does work. And um, we've, have you filled all these bottles up? Go, oh, you've done it, yeah. Just needed to lower them down a bit for the height. That does normally does come through there quicker. That, doesn't yeah, it? it's just me because I don't want to get it. So okay, I mean, I've just been doing it. So, <clears throat> so anyway, there we go, look, quite a fast flow. Seems, and the beauty with this system is you can control it really easy and just turn it off. Yeah. And then I'm trying to get that so it comes out again. Yeah. Turn it back on, there you go. Yeah, so it's a quite a simple system we're developing. Yeah. Anyway, back to the wherry. So we can fill the bottles really easy with our new siphoning system. Um, it's virtually crystal clear, to be honest. Nothing wrong with that at all. There's no bits in it or anything, is there? No, so obviously all the bits from oh yeah, I'm gonna show this on the video. Yeah. All the sediment is in the bottom. bottom. Uh, the way we've got our siphon rigged up is um, it doesn't hit the bottom, so it's not gonna take any sediment up. Um, so this video is really about the uh, end stage of this yeah. this production of this um bitter. And, uh, just to show you what we've, quality it's like. yeah, just to show you what we've ended up with in case you and wanted to make it, it yourself. Like that, as you can see, it's quite clear. And um, does it taste all right? Well, you're not supposed to it? taste it yet. But oh, you're not supposed to. Okay, I will have a little. So when are you supposed to taste it then? Well, in about seven days. But I've got to say, yeah, but it's been it's been we put it in on the twenty third. Yeah, but you put the sugar in. Did we get? Zoom in on the sugar. Let me just get a bottle. Oh, of right. Sugar in. So you're supposed to put. Okay, I see. Right, so I was talking about a teaspoon. Oh, of I sugar. see. So look, in the bottom okay. of that, you can see a teaspoon of sugar. Yeah. And that's yeah. what that is. Got that. And apparently, this gives it a bit of uh, fuzzle, a bit, bit of body. Um, you can get some balls that you put in, apparently. I can't remember what they're called now. But basically, it's sugar. I didn't find this a problem with a, a measurement. Caught, caught spoon measure, or just did it so you're so obviously your fermentation takes so many days to stop fermenting and the bubbles and stop coming out but you're also supposed to put something in the bottom and then leave that for a few days so what does it say i didn't realize that uh, right so 14 days oh, right okay place for two days stand bottles or barrel in warm place for two days then allow 14 days in a cool place or until beer that's cleared. Well, well, it won't get much clearer than that, to be honest, because I know it won't. So, um, top quality product, by the looks of it, tastes alright even now. Um, we followed the instructions, we've kept everything clean. That might be why, we've, we've even with the wine, we've kept everything clean, um, sterilised everything, even the bottles, um, boiling water and a bit of sterilizer like Milton. Uh, and it seems to have done the job. So, anyway, that's where we are with Wherry. We'll probably do a final part. 
we, on the. Uh, we might do. We might, might do because if drink. it's sitting in if it's sitting in bottles. But I've bought worry from supermarkets, and even now it tastes the same. Okay. So it obviously is good stuff. It's it getting works. definitely getting. It's the first time we've done this, so bear okay. with us. Yeah. Right, well, thanks for watching, and, and if you think uh, about getting in this, hopefully it helps you. Uh, keep safe and keep well in these difficult times, and have a beer.